Hello everyone, this is Providencia and I am back with a cooking tutorial. This is the first video of the year 2015. I know we're a couple of days into January, but if I didn't get to tell you guys, um, I hope y'all all had a great New Year's. I hope y'all do have a great year 2015. I wish y'all nothing but love and joy. So with that being said um today i am going to make some ribeye steaks with some nice herb butter and i'm also gonna make some nice roasted potatoes and i'm gonna show you how to do everything from start to finish so let's get started first i want to do it in a way where y'all could do it in the right order the steaks we're gonna do later on because that's like the quickest thing to do that takes like five to seven minutes depending on the cut of the steaks so i want to do the potatoes first because that's going to take a little long so um i got here a pot of water and i added some salt and it's boiling a little bit and i got here um six potatoes i will show it to you in a minute six potatoes here and um, I took out the skin I peeled it off and I only got six potatoes because it's only gonna be you know two people eating ribeye steaks so um, I'm gonna boil these potatoes put them here and you want to boil the potatoes for at least 10 to 15 minutes you don't want to boil them like it's mashed potatoes but you just want to cook them just a little bit so I'm going to add, um, oops, and like that, and I don't know if I didn't mention, but you got to salt the water on the potatoes, um, so yeah, let this, um, cook for like 10 to 15 minutes, and we'll be back. So we have our herb potatoes here no not herb potatoes herb butter and this is what we're gonna need to make this butter um we got here some chopped garlic chopped onions you gotta make sure that the onions are very very finely chopped okay not big chunks i mean it's up to you but i just think it's better that way and i got here some fresh chopped parsley and this is our butter it's a little, little soft, but you don't want it too, too cold either. And I know this is a lot for just one butter. Like, I'm just going to eyeball everything. Whatever I'm left with, I just put it in the refrigerator and use it to cook tomorrow. So we got a bowl here. And the potatoes are boiling. And this is what you want to do next because this got to go in the refrigerator to cool for a little while. And I will show you why towards the end. And I'm going to open up my butter. This is salted butter, which is another reason why I'm not adding no salt to this. And I hope I do this. Yeah, hold on. I need a new camera stand. Okay. And I'm just going to add a little bit at a time. And then, you know, when I mix it around, I'll see. Was that the cat? Mm. Oh, hell no. Hold on a minute. Okay, I'm trying to put the cat somewhere else for now. And I got here a little bit of parsley. I still got more, but let's see how this goes. You know, I eyeball everything, so I'm not giving y'all measurements. Um, I got here a little bit of onions mm -mm. and right here a little bit of chopped garlic I'll add a little bit of more of that because I love me some garlic and but a spoon like this or whatever spoon you got we want to mix it around and mix it until it's nice and creamy
All right, so I'm gonna put this aside because there's something else we gotta do. We need some Saran Wrap, plastic wrap. Let me, yeah, there you go. Sorry, I had to do something. So I'm gonna push this aside. I'm gonna take a piece of that plastic. Be very careful because <laughs> you know how this sticks. And I'm hoping I could just get it all in one shot with my spoon. And all right. And don't worry, my hands are clean. Shoot. A little bit more. And there you go. Nice, beautiful butter. You could use a fat free butter if you want to. This is what you want to do. I wash my hands for now because I still got to get in there, right? <laughs> you want to make it like a log. Make it like, like if you were doing like a meatloaf, basically. And I know it looks messy now, but don't worry. It's going to look better. But it's all right. Go ahead, tell me. I think it's All right. And then you want to, I hope you can see it. You want to just press it down. Alright. So you're going to fold it and then try to push it right. And then you want to do this. Okay. And this is your butter. Try to squeeze some of it in the side. I know this don't look cute. <laughs> but... And you want to put this in the refrigerator because when it cools down and it gets a little hardened, I'm going to slice it up to put it on top of the steaks. Um, you could freeze it for at least, I mean, if you didn't get a chance to, you could freeze it for like five to seven minutes for it could get cool real quick. Um, just a suggestion. So we're going to put this in the refrigerator. I'm going to check up on my potatoes and we'll be back. So we got our potatoes here. Let me see if it needs, you know, more time. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, let me get a spoon. And, ooh, yeah, I think it's good. I was gonna put it, oops, oh my God, yeah, it's done. I was gonna put it on here and then put the fork, but yeah, it's done. See, it broke a little piece, so this is good right here. It's been here for like 12 minutes maybe. So I'm going to remove it out of here, drain it with this, and then I got a casserole dish there. And I will show you what to do with this next. Okay, so I got a nice dish this size. And first you want to go and add some olive oil. Now I'm not going to lie, you got to add a reasonable amount of um, olive oil like maybe so maybe a little bit more because you want to coat the the whole thing in the bottom and plus this is going to kind of cook off to the potatoes so don't worry and it's extra virgin olive oil very healthy and i'm letting all the water you know 
drain out of the potatoes. Um, I learned this recipe from a magazine that I have there, Old Rachel Ray magazine. So I'm just going along with everything that it's saying and the picture, it looks really beautiful. So I was like, I gotta make that. So you wanna place your potatoes here. Now I'm not gonna lie, I think one potato broke, but that's okay. All right, put that there. Cause we're gonna squash these anyway. You'll see what I mean. So I'm still gonna add this, trust me. Cause we don't care. <laughs> I will put it together so when it's squashed, it gets squashed together. So probably like when I do the presentation, like I always do, you know, for a picture for my YouTube channel, I'll probably use this nice pretty one right there. And let me put it together though, a little bit at least together. And you gotta season this with salt and pepper, just a little bit. If you feel like you need more salt and pepper, you add it towards the very end. But you don't want to salt, too, salt it too much either because then, then it's going to be too salty. Alright, good. And some pepper. There. And in the paper, it says that you got to put this in the oven for at least 20 to 30 minutes at 375 until it gets golden. So we're going to do that, and then I'm going to show you what to do with it next. So I just took this out of the oven. As you can hear it, it's nicely and sizzling. Mm -mm. So let me push this, the, all the other ingredients back. Because we're going to have to put this in the oven for another, like, maybe... I'll see. Hold on. Okay, so um, let's see what I can do here. This, this is like the first time me doing this recipe. Let me get um that big spoon right there. The giant one, right? The big one. Yeah, there you go. This is a large spoon. Yeah. For me, it's a medium sized spoon. And you see, that's why you want it a little crunchy, all right? These are a little bit bite-sized. I don't know. I'm not going to throw it away either. Drizzle some of that extra virgin olive oil on top. Because we're going to do something with this. Now, the recipe called for um, fresh garlic and... Um, Fresh garlic with like something else. You could either add sage, you could either add um, rosemary or thyme. And it, it requires for you to use the fresh ones. But I have to go food shopping this week and I don't got a lot of fresh of anything. So <laughs> I am going to use garlic powder. Um, if you're gonna use garlic salt, my suggestion, don't salt this in the very beginning like you saw me salting it in the beginning. You know how in the beginning I ordered, um, I added salt and pepper? Don't add the salt because if you're going to add garlic salt, it already got salt on it. So this is garlic powder and I am going to use dry sage. Alright, so that's what I'm going to use. But you can add um, real garlic, real... Um, Real garlic to either thyme, rosemary, or sage. Not all three of them, okay? Just one of the spices that I just mentioned. So I'm just gonna, oh wait, hold on, cause they said to do one more thing, I'm sorry. Like I said, there's a new recipe, I'm sharing it with you guys. And you wanna use something like this. This is really, really hot. <laughs> and you wanna just squash it just a little bit like this, okay? And it's okay if it breaks. It's supposed to break a little bit in the edges. Mm -mm, look at it. It's looking really nice. I wish I was here. 
and I'm just gonna squash these other ones even though <laughs> and I'll leave the other little pieces there all right this one needs a little bit more okay because we're gonna use them like patties all right with our steaks don't worry you're gonna see it I always show you everything so um we're gonna add just a little bit of sage I don't want to add too much because I don't want you know I don't want to power it like overpower my potatoes and stuff so I'm just gonna just use my fingers and just use a little bit I put a little pinch in my hands and just use a little, little, little bit. I don't want to use a lot of it. We're not really like sage fans here. <laughs> I really wanted to use time, but I don't even got time. I got to really buy a lot of stuff. <laughs> but I would have used time with this um, dry time if I, if, if I would have had it. And garlic, of course. Now I use garlic, real garlic, into my butter. That's why I don't want. I didn't want to use real garlic to this. All right, so just drizzle just a little, little bit, and you want to put this back in the oven for like another, hmm, like maybe another. Um, sorry, another. I'm sorry, I'm trying to talk to y'all and also look for my my stuff here to tip it over. If you feel like you need to add a little bit of more olive oil, you, you should, but I'm not going to because I think I have a reasonable amount to work with. So you want to put this back in the oven for another like maybe 10-15 minutes. You want this to get a little bit more golden than this. Be right back. We're going to start doing the steaks now. Be right back. So the potatoes is almost done to come out of the oven. And I want to season my steaks for, could at least season for a few minutes before we put it in the grill that I have. So I have here a paper towel because I want to dry my steaks really good. And... They look really beautiful. And I want to make sure they're really, really dry. Peanut. No. Chunky, let me get another paper towel. Oh, yeah. All right. I want to make sure they're really dry. Uh-oh. Okay. This is the last paper towel. It's all right. There's, there's more in the, in the pantry. Make sure that they're dry. I'm going to take this plate and put them here. Give me one second. And they're nice and dry. And we're gonna add, you could add, well, let me first do the, show it to you my way. <laughs> you wanna add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Okay. And with your fingers, you wanna do this. Of course, make sure your hands are clean. You heard that part? <laughs> I'm watching a movie. A home of our own. Yeah, so it's kind of funny. <laughs> and you want to do it on the other side as well. Ooh, oh my god, I think I did a little too much there. Okay, <laughs> I did a mistake. See if I can put some of that in there. And use my other hands to grab this. Just a little bit because I put a lot on the other one. Alright. And use the same hand I was just using. Alright. Okay. 
Okay, and after you do this, if you have like any steak seasonings, you could use that as well. It has a blend of different spices in here. This is not open. Um, but the recipe called for, you know, just salt and pepper. And I guess it only called for salt and pepper because we're going to still do the onions. And we have the butter mix that is going to go perfect with the steak. So so if you don't want to do it with the, like, let's say the butter or the, or the onions or the extra. And you got steak seasoning, just add a little bit and you could do it that way. So... But for now, I'm going to use salt and pepper. So I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit. I don't want to do it too much. And season it that size too. Don't go heavy on the salt. Alright? If you want to season your food with more salt, Always do it towards the end if you feel like you need it and pepper. And I'm gonna put some some of this. Aluminum foil, hello, on it. I'm not going to put it in the refrigerator. I'm going to leave it out for at least like 10 minutes, you know, because you don't want a lot of chill to it. You don't want to put it in the refrigerator and then it be all chilled and stuff like that. And then your steaks could cook uneven. So I'm going to put this on top of the table, set up my grill, and I'm going to show you what to do with the potatoes next. Okie dokie. So... We got our pot here, and we are going to do the onions first. I'm sorry I said I was going to grill first, but we got to do the onions first. So to this, we need some extra virgin olive oil, just like a tablespoon. That's good. And definitely have this low. No, yeah. Definitely have this low. You want these onions to be like translucent and taking a got a stick of butter I'm gonna use the whole thing I'm just joking <laughs> we're only gonna use a tablespoon of it <laughs> I just want my people to be like oh my goodness is she crazy there you go and we're going to wait until this melts just a little bit. Let's, let me help it out a little bit. <laughs> Don't mind this, this is a little scratch. You know, I bought these pots not too long ago, but, um, and I love them, I really do. They cook real nice, but I notice you can't use like metal spoons or anything like that. You gotta use like plastic stuff like this because it, then it will mark. So, yeah, just a little advice. You know what? I'm gonna lower, higher it just a little, little bit, but still have it low. There you go. Let us see. Let me see some tingling going on. Okay, you see that little bubbly thing? It's doing its job. And I got some onions here. I would have loved the white onions, the Spanish onions. But I got regular onions, the yellow ones. So about this size. And just gonna, I'm not gonna separate them. I'm just gonna throw them in there. And I'll probably break this still a little bit. So far, everything is turning out just fine, though. Everything is going to look great. I'm going to see if maybe I could even um, taste it in front of you guys. And I usually don't taste my food. I usually just show it to you. So, I'm going to let this do its thing. Let it get translucent for like maybe five to seven minutes. And then we'll be back. 
So this is doing its thing for like, what, five minutes maybe? Yeah. So this is what I'm gonna add. Some red wine, well, cooking wine basically, but it's red, all right, red wine. I'm gonna open it up because it's brand new. All right. And I'm just gonna add a little bit. Mm -mm. I love that sound. Mmm, smells so good in here. I don't know if I should add more, cause you know, I always eyeball everything. I just wrote it down on a paper. It does have measurements, but. Yeah, I think this is good. I don't want to add too much, you know, of the red wine. All right, and I'm not going to cook it no more. I'm going to shut this off. Wait, let me at least taste one. Why not? Wait, I didn't turn it off yet, so... Mm, 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 mm. This tastes so good. <laughs> I gotta add a little bit more salt. Just like a little pinch. But other than that, it really tastes good. You don't need nothing more. Wait, let me at least adjust it in my hand. Just like that. And I'm sorry, you know I'm gonna have to taste it again. <laughs> Look at the colors on that. Beautiful colors. Mix it all around. Make sure all that blends together. All right. Let me get this nice little one. Nobody's going to put that in their steaks, right? Mmm. Turning this oil Perfect. Tastes really, really good. I'm gonna get aluminum foil. Put this in the back burner because I wanted it, you know, to still keep. I turned it off because I want a little kind of moisture into it. Let me get that. No, you can't reach there. Hold on. I can't. Nope. You surely can't. You're still young and you're still small. I'm eight years old. Still young. I'm still gonna be nine. This is fair. And I'm gonna push this to the back. And I'm gonna take out my grill next. Okay, so we got it nice and hot and I got it medium high. And I don't know if you see that, but, and I am supposed to put this on each side for six minutes. So, oh my goodness, I, freaking love that sound. <laughs> and I'm gonna do this one in the back. Oh yeah. So the thing about steaks is that it's not good to keep touching it all the time. Don't keep moving it around. Just leave it there. Let it do its thing. Flip it when it's like six to seven minutes. Don't touch it too much, you know? So, I'm just gonna let it grill and let it do its thing. I mean, I can't tell you to do this on like a regular pan. You, you could, I mean, I know I would've, but it would be better if you have something like this, you know? Like a grill or maybe like even a pan with, with the grill mark. You could do it as well like that. So, let this cook because I know you probably can't hear me because of the sizzling going on. And I will be back in six minutes. Check it and then flip it on the other side. Okay, so Okay, so um I already flipped this steak and it looks really beautiful. Nice and juicy. And I didn't flip that one and I know it looks really ugly, but let me just flip it so you don't have to get all crazy. And I flipped that one as well. 
I think that one is gonna be mine. Because it's pretty. And that one, yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this cook, I think for another five minutes on the other side. And I'm gonna start putting it on a plate and I'm gonna show you guys how I assembled everything. So the steaks are done and at this point, you want to put aluminum foil over it and make sure that you let it rest for at least like another like two or three minutes okay it'll still be cooking while you put the aluminum foil you gonna do that cover it up on the side and another like two three more minutes i'll start serving this um also when you're making steaks it's not good to like, well these kind of steaks, it's not good to just keep pressing down with like a spatula. Like I said, just let it do its thing because you want all that juice from the steak. I mean, you keep like pressing it, you know, you're going to have a very dry steak basically. So you don't want to do that. I just forgot to tell you that when I was making it. So, um, two or three minutes and then I'm going to start plating everything. So it just came out of the oven as you can see. And it's nice and crispy on each side and it's going to be nice and soft in the inside mm -hmm. and I just wanted to show it to you I'll probably use these two for presentation but of course I'm not going to be able to eat those two I'm just going to use it and then give one away again and I'll keep one so here's the butter. I unrolled it, as you can see, and you see it looks like a a log. You can see the onions, the um, parsley, and all the little spices. It's, it's really chilled. Um, and you want to put this on your steak while it's nice and warm because it's gonna melt nicely into the steak. So. I just opened it up, let me get my plate, start assembling everything. Alright, so I am going to assemble everything. I got the steaks there. And first you want to add, hold on, this is hot. Woo! This is really hot. Some of these nice, yummy. It is really hot. Oh. Now I'm going to cut a piece of butter. And I'm going to put this on top of there. So it can nicely melt gently. And I need the dash of butter. And the butter will melt slowly into the steaks. If you're trying to rush it, you could put it, I guess, in the microwave. Huh? And then... Should I add another one just to make it look pretty? Well, that's good too. That's good too, right? Alright, let me get a... All right, so let me take a picture first. All right, so this is the picture, and I just wanted to taste it very quickly. I already took a picture. Wait, did I just say that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> Okay, so let's get started up in here. <laughs> wait a minute, hold on. Ch Chunky, try not to move a lot, all right? All right. And yeah. peanut. Oh my goodness, I tell you, when you have like more than two kids, you get their names confused. All right. Mm -mm. Shh. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, wait a minute. Because I want all that butter in there. I'm sorry. 
not doing a diet. This is not for you. <laughs> now I'm going to eat this. Nice and crispy on top. Wait a minute. Just want to open it up. Oh my god, wait a minute. Hold on. Nice and creamy inside. I will be tasting this. Look at how soft it is in the inside. Mmm. My goodness lord. Don't worry about that. I gotta take another one. I'm so, so sorry. It's like a crust but like a mashed potato inside. My goodness. And I didn't even add a lot of ingredients in it. That's the thing. How good it is. Mmm. Oh my god. I think I'm going to take two potatoes instead of one. Alright. Mm -mm. Alright. I want to taste a little bit of this nice steak. I like my steaks well done. If you like it, you know. like to, you know. <laughs> oh my god. Just perfect flavors. Not too much season, but it tastes so good. Mm. Oh my god. This is really, really good. Like, please, I'm glad that I stumbled into this recipe. And I wasn't going to do the video, but I said to myself, you know what? I think I got this. Because I just read the ingredients and like, I was like, I can do this. It's so simple to make. Like, who can't do this? So that's why I decided to just do it myself. And I'm glad, so freaking glad that I did. Because now I get to share with you guys. So, um, I'm about to call it a wrap because I want to eat this food already. And everybody's looking at me like, Feed us, feed us, feed us. So I am going to let you guys go. I hope y'all have a lovely week and take care. I'm about to eat this up. Bye.